Hello and welcome to another indispensable unboxing from Powell's Books. Our beautiful friends over on the West Coast, over in Portland, sending the books all the way over here to, I don't say East Coast, because I'm in Buffalo, not really coast, but over here to Eastern United States, Western New York, uh, indispensable. <clears throat> if you didn't see, the other video is a, I, I guess it's a subscription kind of based thing. I mean, you could buy the boxes if they're available or join in, but uh, every few weeks, every few months, I want to say, I, honestly, I have no grasp of what time is anymore at this point, but uh, every few months or weeks, uh, well, it has to be at least once a month, once every few months, I would say, uh, they release these indispensable boxes, which include a signed edition of a novel. Plus some other little goodies as well. Sometimes you get arcs. Sometimes you get little snacks like these. What I'm clearly thinking I'm looking at here. Uh, this they do some really nice titles. I I got hooked on them for uh, Born by Jeff Vandermeer. Uh, great title, great box that came with that. Uh, George Saunders was part of this. Oh, there was just a lot of great authors. And then uh, a few months back, I jumped back on for Colson Whitehead, uh, his title. And uh, totally forgot to unsubscribe. So I keep forgetting to unsubscribe, and these boxes keep showing up, and I keep paying $40 for them. But you know what? It's really nice to have a pleasant surprise in the year of 2020. And these are the pleasant surprises. So it looks like, uh, included in this one, are the Better Bars. Uh, let's see, it's like they're vegan. Kind of granola bars, probably, made in Portland. Uh, they do a lot of local businesses in Portland, stuff like that. Uh, last time I got a thing of soap. It's kind of weird. I've never gotten soap in a box like this before. Uh, regrettably, I never used it. It's actually in the, the pan not pantry, in like the linen closet, but I suppose I could use some soap. There's no wheat, no soy, no dairy, no trans fats, no nuts, and no eggs. It's the better bar. Yeah, I'll try it out. Why not? Oh, I'm not gonna say it's free, because I, I technically paid for the box, but it's it's you know, I paid for the book, and that was free in addition to the book. So, I like pens, so I'm very intrigued by this other one. Uh, the, the packaging's always usually the same, which is nice, because even when like the, they try to dent in the hell of the box like that, the book remains intact. Uh, so, the book itself is Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh... I'm not as familiar with this author, but I was looking up his previous books, and I, I swear to God I've seen one of them in Barnes & Noble on like some of those peer back tables. Uh, this one, we'll get to the book in a second, this one being the, bo the box, also includes a 4-in-1 pen tool. Hmm. It's a ballpoint pen, a screwdriver. Oh, yeah, I see a ruler on the side there. Yeah, do some measurements. A level. There's a level in there. Oh, there's a screwdriver. Is it in here? got to be in here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's got a flathead and a Phillips. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. As far as uh, little pens go, I can use that when I'm, uh, this would be a nice pen for a toolbox. And, uh, and the pen itself. Look at that. Very nice. So, we also have a lot of tea, apparently. Double Earl Grey. I'm going to have a nice little evening with this stuff. I got some tea. I got some, I got my writing utensil or, you know, leveling utensil. I got some granola bars. I got a book. Stash. Yeah. And Leave the World Behind, the book itself by Ruman Alam, which is, uh, thematically a good book to end the year with because it's about a family from what I was reading about a family who goes on vacation just outside of New York City and uh, they're greeted in the middle of the night by an older couple who says hey there was some kind of cataclysmic blackout kind of end of the world kind of stuff going on and they don't really have any access oh they always come in slipcases by the way as you can see which is always which is always nice and so without rich and pretty that's the paperback I've seen and without any sort of connection to the outside world. Uh, some of these are actually, I know, 
uh, authors that were in previous instrumental boxes. Samantha Hunt, I recognize. Uh, Carmen Maria Machado. Uh, I believe it was actually her body and other parties was actually the one title. That one didn't have a slipcase, but it was still very nice. Uh, so, as I was saying, this family of four and this elderly couple, or older couple. I don't know if they're elderly. I haven't read it yet. It's like peering into my soul. All right, then. Uh, they, t they learn of the end of the world. And without any contact to the outside world, they're trying to embrace their surroundings and figure out what the hell is going on. And there it is, signed by Ruman Alam. I'm definitely going to give that a read. It feels like a very fitting novel for 2020. I imagine it was published this year. Yeah, 2020. I was going to say, because it feels like a very uh, 2020 novel. It also kind of sounds like uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane in a way. Not that it's a bad thing at all. I love that movie. And they always come with these nice little booklets as well. They kind of give you information on the box, the facts, and an interview with the author. Very nice stuff. And some notes in the back, in which I can use my 4-in-1 pen tool. But anyways, like I said, it's a nice surprise. Uh, plus, I don't mind uh, buying these ind indispensable boxes, because I feel like I'm helping Powell's, in a way. Especially with how crazy this year has been. It's always important to support the local bookstores, even though this one's not local for me. Uh, it's still a bookstore that has been incredibly helpful. It's not a large chain. And I want to try to keep them in business. So every $40 I can chip them, I'll do it. They're, they're my go-to for like my Chuck Palahniuk books, the signed copies. I know you can get signed copies anywhere, but I, I, it's like I, I got to go to Powell's. Powell's never done me wrong. So, thank you, Powells. Well, I hope you guys stick around, and I hope uh, I can keep getting these indispensable boxes into the next year and beyond. So, like I said, I don't know if the copies of this one might still be available. It might be. I go to Powells.com uh, to look at the indispensable ones. They also have a box called Books, B-O-O-X. It's for younger readers. So, if you've got some kids, you can subscribe to that one as well. So, till next time, we'll see you.